Oh God. And hi everybody and welcome to Superstars and <clears throat> today we have Cyrus or Jackal and the Ring of Kurgan. Alright. You people wonder why you haven't seen me in some time. Well, for many months at one point I was involved in myself in some stupid feud with some stupid idiot by the name of Dane, I guess. This guy has all the potential. This guy had all the ability. Just as good as Kurgan or Rhino. But what does he do? He throws it all away. Apparently he was Gail Kim's bodyguard at one point. Okay, I'll tell you how this all plays out. And somebody better get the camera out so I can get my head cut off. This is how it's going to play out. You see, I wish there was some way that I could truly explain myself. You got all these people going around claiming, Oh, I'm evil. Oh, I'm that. Let's talk about The Undertaker, for example. If it wasn't for me, The Undertaker would have gotten Farouk or Bradshaw, Midian Viscera, he wouldn't have gotten Gangrel, Edge, and Christian either. And as far as Bray Wyatt's concerned, him and the Wyatt family, they think they know evil, but they ain't that proud about it. Now, are you saying that I'm, are you saying that I'm trying to start something? No, not trying to start nothing with no one. But I am trying to start something with someone. Yeah. He might think. And yes, it is true. <clears throat> but I've been here for a long time and I know how things play out. Some of them may or may not play out very good, but I know how things play out. I mean, we've talked about how some of the things like to play out and how some of the things may not. Oh, oh God. Talking about things playing out, right? Is that what we were doing? Four says, I just couldn't over here the fact that someone like you, the jackal, Cyrus, running his mouth off about how you think you know how things are playing out like. You say, oh, you're one of the most evilest members, you're not lying to people. Well, if that was the case, then you really need to explain this all to me because I really don't understand. If you were as if you were able to cap, able to keep people under your control by your spoken word, as you said it once, then you should have not lost any control over recon or sniper, or over tank. You should have not even lost control over Kurgan, Golgard, Giant, Silva, and Luna Bashan, but you did. And hey. Yes, it was true. You then became a minion of the Undertaker. You uh, were very instrumental in getting in everybody he wanted. Everybody, no one's going to doubt that the Undertaker didn't send you out to get Farouk and Bradshaw. The Undertaker didn't have you sent out to get Midian and Viscera too. But the Undertaker also had you instrumental getting the Brood, Gang, Rage, and Christian together. And putting them together. But hey, that's all your real life characters' achievements, Jack or Cyrus, we want to call yourself. But the truth of it is, you haven't really accomplished that much since you even been back here. Well, why don't you try to pass yourself off as some type of idiot from YouTube, but that turned out not to be true. And now you got this asshole with tape fingers. Oh, Kurgan, right. The guy that you 
allegedly claimed you would never lose control over, but somehow you managed to have lost control over him. And then Rhino, where is he at? Okay, first off, Osiris says, I never lost any control over Kurgan. I never truly lost any control over Rhino or anybody else you want to claim that I was, uh, you want to say. I let them go. Yes. I let Tank, Recon, and Sniper go. Because, let's just face it. If the Crawford Dance couldn't get them to do anything right, I certainly couldn't get them to do anything right. Yes, I let Kurgan, Golga, and Giant Silva, and Luna Bashan go because, quite frankly, I was getting tired of them. And it's true that I did work for The Undertaker to get the Acolytes for Rook and Bradshaw. I was also able and get, I was also able in convincing the Brood, Gangbride, and Christian to come together and, and convince them that they should work with the, they should join the Minister of Darkness. I was into male men and viscera stuff, yeah. And it is true that I did try to do, I did start the network stable in ECW. Didn't quite go the way we wanted to go, but, and I did some stuff in TNA. Well, yeah, okay. But you want to go after Kurgan, that's fine. Just remember the paralyzer on Kurgan, formerly known as the interrogator, no matter what you, you know, can beat the hell out of can beat the crap out of you. Oh, let me just prove that. Uh, uh. And for hitting Kurgan with his with his hammer and knocked him down. You want some of this too? Oh he just hit the jackal and down the jackal went or Kurgan. Whenever whatever you wanna call him. Uh oh. And Kurgan got his got the got the paralyzer. He calls that the paralyzer. And four get back up and nailed him and down he went. All right, Jackal, Kurgan, what do you want to call yourself, Cyrus? I really don't care what alias you're going as. Looks like I just stopped your evil right here and now. So apparently there's a few, apparently, apparently four, the Ouija, the European Ouija God of Thunder, <laughs> apparently took exception to a lot of things that the Jackal or, or Cyrus was saying, and Kurgan, and they've been laid out, but we can tell you folks that that was probably going to be continue on. It's probably going to continue to happen. There's probably more to that story. So, yeah, that's about it. That's about it for Superstars. We hope you enjoy it. We will see you tomorrow for Monday Night Raw.